So now I want to talk to you about gesture drawing. So gesture drawing is basically laying in the action and the form uh, and overall pose of whatever it is you're drawing, you know, the, the model or the figure from your imagination. It's kind of getting all this in with sweeping, quick passes. So the way I like to think about it is if you were trying to draw a character with the least amount of lines as possible, uh, that would more than likely be your gesture. Also, throwing these in with quick uh, curves and pulls, uh, lifting your hand off the, uh, the page and off the canvas, and just generally trying to uh, almost animate the line a bit more. Is, so another way I like to think about it. So I'll find the center line to the back, and if I want to throw an arm up, it's, you know, series of quick pulls. I'm not looking to get a perfectly drawn arm with all the anatomy in just the right place. Uh, it's not really about that. I'm just looking to get the direction of the, uh, the limbs and, again, a sense, of, um, a sense of movement as I draw these. So something like this. Uh, even the neck, I'll use a quick like little C curve, kind of a backward C, and then I'll draw in the head, primitive version of the head shape, I'll bend in the neck, things like that. But again, I'm trying to capture energy here. You can see the proportions are oddly skewed, uh, things like that, but I can always go back and I can correct things like that. But for now, I really just want to capture the sense of energy. So another technique when doing this is to uh, draw lightly, you know, you're still kind of using some searching lines. Now I've seen people that definitely go in and they do a lot less searching and they um, they kind of mimic the line first over the page and then they throw the line with confidence in that area. So they've kind of imagined the line. Uh, I, I think it's referred to as ghosting, uh, but you can also do that with light sketching. So just lightly sketch, you know, a bit of flow. What I, what I would say is really try to avoid angles somewhat at, the, at this stage. Uh, you are going to use some angles, so you can probably see I've got some in here. You typically will use those more for your bony landmarks, things like the knee, the collarbones, uh, elbows, things like that. You're, you're definitely going to be more prone to use angles for those. Uh, you see I actually use angles for the foot because I just do this very simplified foot for now. Uh, so there are some angles, but I try to think as, uh, you know, use as many curves as possible and interconnecting curves or overlapping curves. Uh, and also, I, I tend to throw the line right off the form. Uh, I think that adds energy as well. You can all, again, you can always go back and clean this up. That's really not what this is about. So let's do a couple of these just so you have a, uh, a variation of what you could uh, try to do here. Um, so again, you could draw through. So a lot of times uh, artists will put in a line of action and they'll go from where they perceive the head to be right all the way down to the, the foot. Okay, and so that would be the overall gesture of the entire body. But then you have to kind of look past that and draw in, you know, the other the other shapes. See, you know, where's, where's this, uh, this leg coming out towards us? Where's this? Other one back. How are the arms draping down to the side? Or is you know maybe one arm coming out and then back towards the head? One arm draping to the side. And then as you work into the uh, interior forms, maybe start to detail just a little bit. But again, not uh, not trying to refine too much. Now I do have the character leaning too much, kind of off balance, so I'm just going to kind of correct that a little bit as I go. And you really do want these to be relatively quick. Again, you're going to get more energy in your lines by doing that. Uh, by again not trying to be so overly critical because we have to remember that the edits come later so at this point you're trying to really stop thinking about all the details and all the 
complexity of the body and do a shorthand version of the pose skipping through it and instead of stopping at different areas and trying to draw what you know about a bicep or a knee or you know whatever part of the body you're at instead you you combine all that into a big sweeping line you know a c hook or a s or an i and and again you're just trying to flow through it and then you take this and then do your more structured approach over the top but you got to remember if you start to draw things too angular like this it's a very different process and it stiffens right up i mean you can see there's just a big difference but that's really what i'm thinking about even as i draw this basic version of the arm but i'm letting myself uh, kind of flow through these larger masses with uh, some more organic lines uh, you can time yourself that's really important to do you know different variations to see what choices you make so uh, real popular ones are starting with 10 minutes for beginners working down to five working down to 30 seconds and there's only you know certain things you can capture at that speed I have a really tough time doing anything in 30 seconds uh, but you, you do see that you make some different decisions which can be very uh, very informative uh, also challenge yourself to do ones that you're just not you know is is used to thinking about so for instance a character leaning over so you might use a bit of a C hook or C curve and figure out the placement of the, the shoulders a lot of times I use little circles or ovals to kind of start the placement flow this down into where the pelvis would be figure out the orientation of the pelvis and then uh, for the legs I'll just take a do a forward bend and back bend so I, I use this method a lot but this is this is generally a little bit more of a rhythm of the way that the shape of the legs occur but it's uh it can be used in the arms and legs and I'll explain this in more detail later on uh, let's look on a little too out there so let's bring one arm let's, let's just bring it down and back over through the body so maybe they're doing a bit of a leaning over and um, and gratitude so then as I go through here I've already established some length so it's a little bit different method of gesture drawing but it's it's definitely one that I that I do quite a bit and so now I need to draw through this and again I'm trying not to stop right at the very edges of each area even though that's uh, kind of tricky for me sometimes because it, it's it's letting go basically and saying well this isn't going to be right if I if I throw the line way off this form of the leg how could it possibly be right it takes practice to let yourself make those sorts of decisions like you just want in the beginning you're trying to draw everything so correct right so you're trying to stop the line where it needs to stop uh, but that can actually hurt the the fluidity of it and you know, the organic nature of what you're trying to capture here so uh, hands we'll get into some hand gestures as well very important to practice these because hands are so expressive and it's always noticeable when you don't have a good hand gesture so just like the ones here they seem a bit weird because I'm just quickly throwing those in but just like that we've got another one where it's kind of an awkward pose but again there's a sense of you know curvature and bend uh, another thing is just really allow yourself to bend you know the arms and legs like within reason obviously but uh, a lot of times that can be the problem if your illustrations look overly stiff it's because you're not you know you're not putting enough curvature the they're just not straight you know arms and legs are just not straight and the anatomy uh, obviously is has lots of bends to it so allow yourself to actually incorporate some bends uh, to these parts of the anatomy and sometimes that can fix your, your overly stiff uh, renditions okay so we're about almost 10 minutes into this and we've got a few of them illustrated we'll do another one uh, so again I want to try to express different ideas it's real easy to get caught up in the same kind of uh, posing let's even try this where we have a bit of uh, we're looking up at a character so with this one we will take and say 
Um, let's put the action line on a bit of an angle. So if we were to draw this line of action right like this, and then we will have torso up here. So now I'm gonna couple this particular gesture drawing with thinking a little bit more deliberately about the, uh, the torso. So there's my center line, there's my torso. I'm gonna bring an arm up and over. I'm gonna have the head kind of tilting down a little bit. And this arm coming out and over. Again, this little zigzag that I like to use. And then one leg down. And then one leg out, something like this. Bring this leg out and then back. So we're kind of looking up at this person jumping in the air. And they're kind of looking down to the side. And so now again to you know glance through this and try to establish this with quick lines. Connecting uh well, connecting and not connecting. So connecting uh, in the sense that they're intersecting, but then throwing past the, uh, you know, the actual connection points, I think is very important so that you capture that energy. Uh, I've definitely seen some too where they'll just even draw one side of an arm or a leg and leave it at that. So uh, those might be studies where somebody is running out of time. That's possible, but uh, it's kind of neat how you can still make it out. There we go. There's another, another pose. Can get in some of the hair here. Just remember everything has gesture. So hair has gesture. Uh, clothing. Uh, there's a an energy and a flow to everything. Uh, except maybe things that are very stiff and mechanical, but anything that's organic and you want to convey a sense of life. So there we go. So there's another one. And you know, and again, this is something that we would edit and, and scrutinize and change, but at this stage, it's not about that. It's just about capturing uh, that sense of movement and, you know, really working out a, a quick, expressive idea. So let's uh, work through some more of these, talk more about gesture. And with that, let's head on to our next lesson.